One of the most important things about this show is to create a sense of place. It's creating uh, the Institute so it feels massive. This used to be all glass and now we've, we've brought all that stuff down to one huge level. It's a beautiful amalgamation of the history of that church and all the technology within it. This is the technology that exists today. So we use these as substations for our guys to track demons. There's one right there. This is one of the many hallways within the Institute and we're going to go right into Aldertree's office. When we put the set together, we did all kinds of little details like Plato on his desk. He reads Plato, makes him a smart guy. You don't necessarily see that on camera, but it's important for the character. This is a little on the nose, but I like it as he's investigating Sherlock Holmes kind of thing. And my favorite piece, nod to the Godfather. As my grandmother used to say, God is in the details, and I believe that. To me, it's more scary and more interesting when it looks like it's the real world. So that's really textured and rich. One of the cornerstone characters of this show is New York City. So what we want to make sure this year is that it feels like we're in New York. I grew up in New York City and went to restaurants like this one in Chinatown, and we really wanted to create a sense of authenticity. If it feels real, that's where you win. This is called Hunter's Moon, which is our bar, which is in Chinatown in New York. There's a beloved character that will be residing in this bar. She works over here, kind of Maya's hero area. Before this was the Hunter's Moon, it was the belly of the ship, which appeared in the first episode. We took those elements for, that we built for the ship and we turned it into a bar. Kind of like cheers for the supernaturals. I believe that once the details work and it feels like a lived-in environment, then you're successful in capturing it on camera. Magnus' lair, so it's this huge, wealthy man who's a wizard, who's in New York, who has this fantastic taste. We wanted to make sure that it felt swanky, tasteful, and Doug McCullough and his production design team have done a beautiful job reimagining the world where Magnus lives. We've expanded the sets, we've created texture, we're shooting it differently, we're using foreground. Anytime that you see a scene, it's gonna be framed unexpectedly. In the end of the day, this year is about giving the show more drive, more cylinders, and letting the actors do their thing. Shadow Hunters premieres Monday, January 2nd, 8, 7 central on Freeform and the app.